Chet Gordon for the uh, Huskies against uh, Gordon for the Eastern Ice Mustang. Warren Valley only lost the season Falco last year at this particular juncture of the season. The Huskies only lost to Falco. And it's going to be an interesting ball game. Tip is up control this time. Uh, I'm to uh, Doug. I read it to Brent Ham. Brent Ham across the timeline leads it out there to Kent Gordon. Out on the uh, point with uh, Dye picking him up on the right side. Long haul. Long haul baseline. Underneath Gillen goes. Turn around. Jump around the baseline. No good by Bill. He rebounded by the uh, Huskies. And then they have a struggling violation. Brent Graham got the rebound. Started up the floors with it. And the pull of the pivot foot. So that's a mistake again for the Valley early here. And Eastern Heights still controls the ball on the left side. Comes to Kyle Dennis. Dennis out in front. The Kent Gordon goes from left to right on the dribble near the mid court line. Bounce pass off the circle to Bernie. Bernie with sides on him goes around the right of the uh, lane. Bounce pass back out in front now. Comes to Kent Gordon, the six foot senior. Gordon from right to left. Sides pick him up. Here it's past the 10 second line again. They get the ball into the high post. The Brent Ham turn around jump is a little short. Rebound at Godfrey. Outlet comes to sides up the court on the right side with it to uh, Glenn Brands back out the side for the Huskies. Brands on the right side. He's on the wing. Man to man. That's all of the good he knows, I think, for the Eastern Heights Mustang against the uh, Huskies. Top the circle with it. Goes off to Jim Pricky back to side. Uh, underneath give and go. Brands gets the pass. Misses away up underneath. Rebounded out of there by Kyle Dennis and the... Uh, Huskies that time worked it for a good job, but couldn't get it down. Good pass from sides, but just wouldn't go down. Marching away up. It was the old pick and roll play. Uh, Dennis came over late, but uh, the shot was missed. Well, uh, uh, way out in front now. Off to uh, Kyle Dennis. He's a 6'3 sophomore. Dennis leaves it. Back over on the far side to Brent M. And back out in front to Kent Gordon. Gordon on the right side to Long Hall. To Mooney at the right of the lane, picking him up as Ricky. Baseline pass. Turn around the jumper. A head fake then put up there by Kent Gordon. No good. No score yet in the ball game. He played a minute and a half. Kyle Price. Drives the line. Baseline. A ball is blocked out of there. Then a foul is going to be assessed against Ron Hall as he went up with Kyle. The side will be at the free throw line. Uh, with a couple of shots early. Side here on the season. As uh, hitting on about a 70% average. Pretty good. High school uh, free throw shooter. That's very. It is in the. In the uh, the way the game's going right now with the man the man played by Eastern Heights, Northern Valley with the height of the speed they have and the passing of sides, will be able to penetrate. One three one ten by Northern Valley is going to force Eastern Heights to shoot from the outside. It's a one nothing ball game, six eighteen to go, first quarter, side tips both of those free throws. It's a two nothing contest. And four court pressure by the Huskies against the Mustangs. Woody and backcourt gets across the timeline. Four. The Eastern Heights Ball Club. Out in front, Ken Gordon goes on the dribble from the right side. Back on the left side to Kyle Dennis. Baseline uh, jumper rope go in by Grant M. A foul underneath going for the rebound. We're going to have a jump ball, I guess it is. As uh, jumping will be Godfrey. Godfrey in there at six days. Ken Gordon six. So we'll see who controls this tip. It was all controlled by Eastern Heights, Mark. Yeah, it went up on here up to the floor, uh, but he got the tip over. Lot Hall got the tip back near the mid-court line, and uh, Eastern Heights he played with the ball quite a bit of time at their end of the court. Right side jumper on his way by Dennis in and out. Rebound to Booney's open underneath. Can't hit him, and we may have someone on the arm. He gets back close underneath. He keeps going up with it. You're bound to get someone stopping you on the wrist. I guess they say he wasn't shooting. I guess it was between tip and tip, and Eastern Heights to put the ball in play. Now that's in front with the ball. Eastern Heights sets up uh, very deep in the pool court, don't they? Sure, they're out there the mid court line when he set it up, then he starts moving uh, toward the basket. Trying to uh, triple teams that time with Dennis, and the ball stolen by the Huskies. Underneath, there's a shot out by Christie, and it's good on a good pass by. Oh, it was beautiful pass. And they just shuttle it off to the left side. That's where the problem is you have to play with some of the right sides. If you never know when the ball's going to come at you, you got to be ready. <laughs> Red M takes it down the right side. The ball is on, uh, we had a whistle. Three second lane violation. That's against Eastern Heights. Mustang. And uh, Northern Valley with a 4 0 lead with 5 13 to go here in the first period. In uh, semi final action, 1 A regional play. Inbound pass. As the Huskies go at the other end, walking the ball in a front court that side. Right side, Brand. Brand. Turn around, jumper by Frickie. Too hard off the glass. Doctor went up, tried to get the rebound, but Mooney that time had excellent position for Eastern Heights. Pulled it down, and uh, Godfrey didn't want to reach over and get that foul. Ken Gordon out of front, right side in. He puts one up to the top of the circle, and 
Great ass put that up to play on it, but he had four points the other night against Sonora. It's a four to two ball game, under five minutes to go. To the first period, side to the circle, left side, driving. And a shot is going to be a two hard. Dean Field went for it on the baseline from the left side, but he was traveling before he put it up. And uh, again, the four court press, the by Northern Valley. Last time he didn't like that, no difficulty. This time, uh, Field wants the ball out of bounds, but it goes out of bounds last. Off of the Huskies, and the Eastern Heights again will put it in play. Inbound. Travis is Kent Gordon. Kent Gordon to the right side. Still up. Now he looks for uh, Dennis on the post, as it goes to him on the right. Back to Kent Gordon to the right of the circle, top of the circle. Mooney, the ball right over his head, starts to drive left side. Shot by Lon Hall. Goes off, no good. Rebounded. A hit fake. Shot on his way in. A good move that time by Kent Gordon. He faked it once, pumped it, went up and put it in. It's a 4 4 contest. Half the first period is gone. Side to the front court, bounce pass, right side. Shot on his way, brands in. Boy, Grant Brands did that way out. Brands, uh, on the season, uh, shooting from the field about 42%. And he gives the Huskies a 6 to 4 lead. Gordon with a to Mooney, top of the circle. He's double teamed on the right side. M's open, a jumper from 14 in. Grant M with a hot hand mark. Well, that's the way that Eastern Heights defeated Northern Valley a year ago, was from the outside. The 6 to 6 game, but three and a half minutes to go in the first. Benzo out in front, Gene Fields drives the lane, and we're going to have a uh, foul way off to the right of the circle. Uh, I think that foul was on Brent M. Number one on Brent. Like I say tonight, Northern Valley, I don't think he's going to have too much trouble penetrating against that uh, Eastern Heights man to man. Do both. Try to fly, stop the circle, around and back out, rebounded underneath Brent's balls. Can't get the shot, and pulled out of there. Ty Dennis, Kyle Dennis, the uh, sophomore for the Eastern Heights Mustang. 6-3 sophomore. A couple of years ahead of him, left side. Mooney, baseline jumper, hit short. Rebounded to side, side down court. He's going to go all the way and hit the layup. Every had a man on the rim, too. But uh, they win it anyway. That would be good inning, maybe, I think, with the ball in the cylinder like that. But side drove down and hit the layup with less than three minutes to go. And again, a two-point lead for the Huskies. Out in front, Gordon with the ball. Goes to the right of the circle. Shot way short that time, put up by him. That was maybe two or three feet short and rebounded by the Huskies. Left side. Deep field jumper is no good. Godfrey falls. Stops the strike, no good. They're going to have a foul now. A three feet over with Glenn Brand. Glenn Brand with the foul. And that's uh, his first foul, third team foul against the Huskies. Inbound pass to uh, Dennis with the Eastern Heights Club Tank. This is a big matchup with Science Conference teams here. Top Science Conference teams in this 1A. On the right side, Lon Hall, baseline. Tries to get it up, and it's deep foul. Lon Hall. He was out on Mark. I, uh, I think it was on Bricky or Brian. I can't see where again in the position here where I mean, we can't see with the uh, numbers designated. They don't have the, the scoreboard here. But anyway, Lon Hall is going to be at the free throw line shooting a couple. Lon Hall hits the first one, makes it now 8 to 7 game. Just the second free throw attempt by the Mustangs. A chance to knock it up again. 2.21 to go. This is way short. That missed everything. And the Huskies will bring the ball in the front court. Southern Valley, 16 and 1. They didn't expect. Uh, Target Doug Roosting expect to be at this part of the season of 16 and 1 mark. So they went to the uh, finals of the state's uh, eight man football. Top second place in the state, Godfrey, left side. Goes back to Tricky, to Godfrey, out on front with the G field, left side in the lane. Shot by Brad, won't go. A little too hard off the heel. Rebounded. Looney turns it out of there. Four Eastern Heights, and the Mustangs can regain the lead here with the minute 55 to go in the first period. Kent Gordon walks the ball across the timeline to the right side. Back out in front, Mooney. Drives to him up. There's a the Mooney jumper. Goes across the rim. No good rebound by Field. Field leaves it for side. Land baseline, the right side. He is not for a hit face there. Then the ball walks away. Land went up about uh, four times at the head. Finally, when he did go up, Mooney stayed right with him. Knocked the ball back to Godfrey. Picked up a foul. And that's number two on Godfrey. Two patients by Mooney who got the shot back and the loose ball going over to his dentist. 
And as you said, Godfrey just kind of took the arm out. And the ball comes down for Eastern Heights. Almost lapses. It's picked up then finally by him. Then in for the Eastern Heights Mustang. Ken Gordon takes it on the dribble to the left side. Back out to him. who's on the point now. Right side. Dennis. Dennis, the ball has got a bounce. Dennis was on the base. Of the Going out wanting to take it in with Dean Field. But he didn't get the ball from Sonny Ryan, who's one of the officials here this evening. And the right with the dribble. Ken Gordon, he's going to come to him, and he's going to put it away from about 22. Off the heel, no good. Rebound, about left, turn it to Kyle Sides. Sides for the Huskies. He'll drive, a reverse. Dribble, no good. A follow shot is going to go down. That time by Brands, and that was the train shot there because Brands was going to the floor when he put it up, and that was just one of those post things. In the front court, Eastern Heights. Trading by three now, 10 to 7, 45 seconds to go right side, Red M. Red M, top of the circle. Ken Gordon, Gordon back on the right side to Dennis. Neither team has substituted here in the fast moving first quarter. Back to Dennis, right side, picked up by Trek Udu, and they're playing now on the right side against the, the Huskies. The ball comes in to Mooney. He's triple team to good block out of there by Godfrey. He's covered by Mooney. No foul out time. Godfrey just went up and counted his back, and Mooney picks it up. 17 seconds to go. And on the left side, Mooney, and Mooney travels with it. That's an example of uh, passing the ball one too many times, Mark, because him had a good shot in the circle out in front, and he hooked the pass over to Mooney, and he traveled with it. What was that? Uh, was it traveling on Mooney? Or, okay, I could tell Gordon went up, and he just got over the ball uh, as he was a bit out. I thought maybe he might have been on the head. On the right side with it. Shot is up by sides with two seconds to go. It's a uh, six. Point, first quarter for Kyle Sides at the end of the first period. It's 12 for Northern Valley and 7 for Eastern Heights here in Northern. Oh, four, six defensive, three offensive for nine. Four defensive for Eastern Heights, two mistakes apiece. Tim is off control by the Huskies coming down short, hitting that shot. A great brand with these follows, got the follow, and makes it now 14 to 7 ball game. Sutterheim in the ball game now for the uh, Huskies and going out is Jim Bricky. So uh, Mark Sutterheim, 5'9", Junior, has come in the uh, contest for Northern Valley right side. Goes to Gordon, tries to drive the lane. He makes the shot, but it's not going to count. Takes the same five. Now we have a substitution in now. Uh, Randy Lucian has checked into the ball game, replacing Ron Hall for the Eastern Heights Mustang. And with 7.37 to go in the first half, I don't know what's... Uh, Foul ball, I guess, and if the free throw line is going to be, Kent Gordon shoots a one and one. As your scoreboard kind of spoil you, don't they? Dropped up and in. Three points for Kent Gordon, and a 14 to 8 now. Did you find Herschel Walker for your guest at halftime? Oh, we're going to have Bob Jackson. Oh, yeah. no, okay, he's more dependable. Yeah, he is. Second shot is no good by Kent Gordon, rebounded. The Huskies have the ball, we're running with it, and the front court side slows the action down. Go out in front, uh, Lucian picks him up on a man-to-man -man by the Mustang. Uh, Brand traveled with it. That time, Brand wanted to go to his right, and then he decided to come back to his left and took the extra step. And that is a turnover for Northern Valley. 14 to 8, a six point advantage right now for the Huskies. Lucian in back court now gets the pass to the front court. Comes to uh, Gordon. Ken Gordon, the six foot senior on the right side, and underneath, Gordon has the baseline, moves to the basket, trying to go against Godfrey, and he moves up into Godfrey, but they say he's got enough the man come up, Godfrey kind of shaking his head on that one, that's three on Paul Godfrey, he'll come over and sit down, Frickie will come back in the ball game, and that shows the strategy around the bit for Doug Lucy, because Lucy's some rebounding strength in there, but uh, I think he'll need some speed, the free throw line is going to be Ken Gordon, who has three points, and he misses it, but he has a couple of times. This is what a reach for semi-final action. Two more games to the Twilight in the final Saturday. Shot is bouncing high, no good rebound. Pull it out of there. Bye. Frankie. On the left side, going and hitting a missing a shot. He had a layup left side, couldn't get it. Comes back out to the field, controls it. Went over the valley. Right side to Sutterheim. 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 Goes to the right of the circle, looks right side, jumps a 14 foot, in and out, rebounded Mooney. For the Mustang, and Mooney is fouled after he brought that ball down. I think that is going to be a foul. Yeah, it's going to be Mooney. 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 Yeah, it's going to be
the 2003 uh, three-up top top field on the bench. And Tony will be at the free throw line. He'll get the score this evening. He's tonight. He's just uh, passed a little bit of the game. He's one shot at the bucket, too. And then he missed the free throw, but in the ensuing action, uh, he tried something. Got a foul. That was on trial of Evans. And then the bench number one. Quickly to the other end of the court, Brown can jump the right side, high off the glass, no good. Him goes up to clear the board for Easton Heights, coming up from behind, and Southern High almost did it again. Coming to the side tonight. The Huskies going the other way, into the circle left side. Shot is up, no good, a little short, foul ball. And Fisher shot that time for uh, the Huskies of Deep Field. He went up the second time, and that foul was going to be on Kyle Dennis. The number two on him. And it's not a burning situation yet. We have, uh, should be the next, we should be the winner. On the left side, the right. The Huskies have the ball. The Rams in the left corner. The long throw by the baseline, back out the side for the point, bounce pass right side. Just watch the line, the line. And a foul. And three second late violation, I guess. Taking even two hours with Jim Biggie, who came in to replace the height of Bob Duffley. Sean Stockman comes to the ball game. Stockman in the game. Replacing Kyle Dennis, who has two fouls. Wilson in back court, really bothered back there by Sutherland. As the uh, ball of mid-court comes to Scott, and he's fouled. Huskies are starting to get in that foul situation. That time the foul was a set to Gene Field. That's one on him. And at the Jerry Stratton, John Stockman. Stockman had nine points the other night against Sonora. He's shooting a one one here. Six ten to go. Shot, no good. Rebounded by him. Right in the circle, shot up, no good for two pointers. Rebounded by the Huskies. Last pass goes side underneath, a good body control missed the layup. Side went up to get the rebound, fouled by Lucian. You know, Eastern Heights, that was the first attempt from the outside here. It took about two minutes to do it. Uh, an offensive board by him, and I think it's going to be a timeout call. Remember, Julie got up. Gordon is going to the basket no matter what. 
and he's got too many steps. Dan Mooney is in the game. He's a 5'10 freshman coming out as John Stockman. Four minutes, 38 seconds. Huskies ahead, 15 to 10. Slow moving first half. Left side. Goes to center on top of circle of land. Dotson's on the bench with three fouls for the Huskies. In the lane, Jumper is put out by Field. Hit the Field uh, there. Finally went up and came back down through. So Field has his first bucket of the evening. It's 17-10. And the ball is lost. He's an ice outside border by the pressure. Uh, Dan Rooney, the freshman, couldn't quite catch up to him. Not to play, a lot of time to play right side. Land tries the lane travels with it. Land's got time to throw it to the basket. He said he uh, moves the feet. He had the right idea, but he had to penetrate in there. For four or nine to go. First half. Half time guess Bob Jackson. I think it's knocking the top. And on top of the timeline. Chalicia, left side to Dan Rooney. Dan Rooney, he takes an extra step. <laughs> well, that was good. He moved around one and a half by one. Hey, that's good. I'll pivot around the other one. That's yeah, real good. I'll just keep going. All right. I'll like you away with it. Buddy Weiner through the whistle. <laughs> Under four minutes to go. 17 to 10. And still a seven-point advantage for the Huskies in the first half. Right side, Brand. Top of circle, center line. Ball knocked away by Dan Rooney, but retrieved by Field on the left side. Going over Valley. Kyle side. And on the uh, right wing. To the fans on the left side. Gordon picked him up man to man. That's all that Fred really knows. Back on the left side to Kyle's side. Baseline, Brand passes there. Look shot. Yeah, good move. Red Brand took it. So about six feet out on the left and went through. 19 10, the biggest lead for the Huskies. Nine point lead on the left side, Dan Mooney. Dan Mooney back to Lucian. Randy Lucian, 5 8 junior. Back to Randy Mooney. Lucian's in there. At 5'8", uh, Dan Rooney, 5'10". Base one is in by Rooney. That's Doug, and that's his first bucket of the evening. He was 21 the other night against Lamora. Fast break being employed by the Northern Valley Huskies, and it went too fast. He went out of bounds underneath the Northern Valley basket, and he glides across the court and played with three minutes to go. And that's the question the Cubs have moved down. They've got the ball in the corner. Well, they've got the ball in the corner. 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 And Eastern Heights has the ball knocked away. Goes out of bounds, touch by a side of the valley. To the mid-court line. Goes to Lucian, right side. Jumper is on his way by him, won't go. Tip up a tip by Moody. Good, Moody with no good. Rebound, comes out to Kyle Sides underneath. Jumper on his way in. That's on it by Jim Frickie. Boy, the Huskies really moving that ball around. That's fast-paced action right now. Two and a half minutes to go. The first half, 21 12. Well. Well, Huskies have been able to get the ball down the court. Yeah, the last three Huskies around him. Get the ball the way down. To the left of the lane, back to Doug Mooney, head fake to baseline jumper, traveling call by Mooney. That was traveling violation too, I think that's the indication of the pace of the game. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I kind of figured Northern Valley would pick up the pace. Godfrey down there, they got a little bit more speed. The Eastern Heights just can't run to Northern Valley. That's the bottom line right now, the second period. And the left side, Sutterheim. And Mooney picked in a Sutterheim left baseline. Tricky back out on the uh, point. To a branch, he'll put it up from 18, high off the hill, rebound at side, has it, almost lost it, he was going to drive it, then comes back out of it. Throw it down the ball, let's set it up again. Side, left side, base line, center line. A head fake, up again. Center line didn't like that time, a head fake, the second line he went up and turned off the glass. 23 12, a minute 51 to go in the first half, throw the valley and 11 point lead. Of course, got the old event using up time. Uh, uh, saving uh, Dodger for the second half, left foul this way. Mooney goes up every time to jump off. He blocked that time by Tricky. Gets Tricky to 6'1 senior. be jumping against Doug Mooney, 6'2 senior. This should be pretty even jump. Depends on who has the best swing of the night. Tip is off, controlled by Easton Wright. Shot off the circle by him. Off the right, no good. Rebounded. Side does it for Northern Valley, and a side starts up short. He's cut off. By Dan Mooney, the 5'10 placement. Literally, all uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Five to the free throw line, the long walk to the other end of the court. 23 square, back in the ball game, long ball. And uh, going out is Dan Mooney. Uh, even with Godfrey out of there, I know the Valley is controlling the board. They now have uh, a total of 17 to Eastern Heights, uh, 9. Five, one 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 attempt is in. Right on the evening hour, four for five, he has eight points. Or his fifth, he leads the team in a fifth of 97, of course. 
Second shot right side. Too hard off the heel. Rebound up right side. Right side. Got the 14 off the glass. That's good. I tell you, Kyle knows how to use the glass, too, and he meant to do that. High off the glass. 26-12. Now a 14-point lead for the Huskies. Not all has it. In the front court, it's got Looney. Looney across the timeline. Off the circle. Right side. Dilution drives to the right baseline. He double teams. The ball knocked away. Stolen by Sutterheim. Long pass down court. Kyle Price takes it. And then has a knock away from behind by Lucian. Knocked away again. Good defense by Easton Heights. They got back. Lucian also in there. Uh, giving a Kyle Price a little difficulty. Inbound pass Sutterheim from Northern Valley. Left side side. With a minute to go. First half. 26 12. 14 point win for the Huskies. Perfect time. Left side. Dean Field drives in the lane. There's a jumper. Eight out. In. Dean Field with four points here in the second period. Six of the last seven from the four of the, uh, the Huskies ahead. Starting a move and warm up now. Ron Hall on the front court for East and right. Right side. Goes to him. Into the uh, corner. Against Gordon. Gordon with the baseline. Looney drives the lane. Good move that time by Doug Looney. Went through the Northern Valley defense to get an easy one. 28-14. Right side. Gordon drives the egg and hits it away. Out that time. Gordon with the rebound. Gordon with the rebound. Gordon with the rebound. Gordon with the rebound. Gordon with 30 to 14, 19 seconds to go. The pace is really picked up here. Down for a good ball trap. Down in front, Luke, the left side. Lawn Hall to Looney on the uh, left corner. Back out to Lawn Hall. Lawn Hall to a pass underneath the right side. Goes to Ken Gordon. Turn around, jump for her. A one second hit it. Ken Gordon hit it at the bottom. Ken Gordon hit it at the They, you know, keep moving, they're going to get to an open area and get the ball because he's going to find them. You know, when you look down the program, you see Northern Valley and you see Bob Godfrey 6'8". Okay. And the situation here in the second quarter, he had to sit out most of that. How much do they change? I know they pick up speed, but how much do they change with Bob Godfrey out and they bring Sutter in and they run for it? Well, you know, I think the little Sturgeon kid has done a good job for him. Uh, He's definitely a real player, and he knows what his role is. You know, he doesn't come in there with the idea he's going to have to score a lot of rebound, but, you know, he's a, he's a ball handler out there and, and does a pretty solid job. But, you know, I think Bobby Godfrey is probably the most improved player in the race from last year. He, he uh, gives them a, a, a thing right there where his rebounding was just a more basketball on KKM, the second half ready to go between the uh, Eastern Knights Mustangs and Northern Valley Huskies. The uh, Huskies with uh, lead down 30 to 16, second half underway. It was off control by Northern Valley. Let's see, it's going to be uh, St. Pius, the starting side, Tricky Field, Brandon Godfrey for the Huskies. Godfrey, a turn on jumper, is out of there by Mooney. And here for the uh, Eastern Knights Mustangs, it's going to be uh, Randy Lucian, also uh, M. Uh, Mooney. It will also be in there along with uh, Dennis. And pick up uh, Gordon, Brent Gordon is the other one, or Ken Gordon, and the uh, east and right front tanks on defense now. The second half just underway, right side. It goes to Gene Field, out on the point. With it goes to Flicky on the left side. Brent, back to Godfrey, who's playing out on the point now. Six, eight point guard there for a little bit. Back to uh, Field, drives in the lane, a jumper from eight feet out. It's going to be short. Godfrey follows off the heel, and Godfrey picked up number four. Godfrey with 7 11 to go in the third period, just picked up number four, reaching over on that rebound. So he'll come in and sit on the bench, and Sutterheim comes in. A tough break for the, for the uh, Huskies. Godfrey probably played maybe about a quarter in the entire game so far. Godfrey has not scored. All a stolen by uh, Northern Valley to knock away, controlled by Eastern Heights, and who touched the lap? It's going to be coming back to Northern Valley. The Huskies to put the ball in its way. Kyle Fry down on the left side with it. Goes to Fricky, back to side. On the dribble, back out uh, to the uh, top of the circle on the bounce pass to Brand, back on the left. To Field, Field, back to Sutterheim, who came in to replace Godfrey. Mm He's -hmm. carrying four fouls to Fricky on the left side. Long pass on these Brands is there. Couple ahead, faced off the glass, too hard, rebounded. Ken Gordon gets the outlet. Gordon into front court on the dribble quickly. No score yet here in the uh, third quarter. It's a 36 team contest. The Huskies have a four-point lead, a 14-point lead over Eastern Heights. Bounce pass, left side, no good. Doug Looney put it up. Rebounded by Brand. Side, right side. To bring you back to uh, side drive to the top of the circle. Lucian with a hand in his face. Right with him. Goes to Fricky again. 
Fields puts up baseline in. That rattle around. Went down through deep field now with six points. Finally took almost two minutes for either team to score. As we get to uh, the other end of the court, it's Lucian. Randy Lucian put it up from 60 feet out on the left side. 32 18 to get a 14 point lead. Enjoyed by the Huskies presently. Top the circle goes to uh, Field and driving is Graham. And that's all Betsy found out Graham. And Fred Graham, that is number three. So Godfrey's on the bench with four, Brands with three. Brands, of course, uh, is uh, in the ball game tonight with 10 points. The ball still is back court for the Huskies. And coming across the timeline, Lucian with the dribble. And we have a technical call now. Uh, Jim Clicky. Clicky was protesting the foul, and uh, he just had a tee call on him, too. So Clicky will come out of the ball game, checking in at Fifth Guile. And a kind of uh, mass confusion out there right now, Mark, with players coming and going, and we'll be back here. <laughs> we did see by the official and the chief for the players wanted to call time out. So yeah. you take it over the way, huh? <laughs> Five minutes, okay. Shooting the uh, technical is going to be Brent in. Uh, he doesn't take advantage of it. And now time out one at four, the Northern Valley Huskies. But time wasn't out already. He could have got in there. He's, he's got some neat motions out there. We've known no, uh, Sonny for a long time. Uh, Shot up on the right side, no good by M. And now the ball comes off controlled by side. To the front court for the Huskies. Top the circle, left side. So this goes to uh, Field. Let's see who's in there. Giles is. Now, also... Uh, Oh boy, here we run in this. We have a gentleman in there we don't have a number for, or a name for, number 41. She uh, checked the program, see if we can get him in there. He takes it on the left side. It's going to be uh, Guile is in there along with center line, side, and field. And we have a foul call as uh, the Huskies trying to move towards uh, their basket. Any number there for number 41, or a name for number 41. He uh, came in and replaced it. I think uh, when uh, Jim Priggy had the technical goal on him, he went out. So the Huskies with uh, five on the left side, 445 to go, 14 point lead to Northern Valley. Center line, off the circle, two fields. On the left, so this goes to our number 41. On the right, so I think that's Hickman, Troy Hickman. Okay. Okay. I think it gets. Okay, to the five left of the lane. We'll bring it back out now. Troy Hickman was 13 the last time we had the number on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Top of the circle. Get it. 41 right side, Guile. Guile. That's up. Uh, the Northern Valley, I don't know whether they're just trying to use up some of that clock or whether they'll take a good shot if they get a mark, but they're playing out around the perimeter right now, doing a good job of it. Guile moves to the baseline, can't get the shot. Rebounded. Pulled out of there for the Eastern Rock Club Tank by Kyle Dennis. Dennis plays it for Lucci to bring in the front court. Back to Dennis on the left side. Baseline to the left corner. Doug Moody jumper for 14 hit short. Rebound it. Kent Clark has it. He can't get the shot away now. It's a guarded one. Kent hit. Turn around jumper by Dennis. He's fouled. 541. I tell you, Gordon's got spring in his leg. Sure he can uh, get that fall away jumper up over the big guy. Kyle Dennis will be shooting two here. And... He can pull these right back to within 12 points. Shots up and in. Kyle Dennis has his first point of the evening. 32-19, 32-20. Uh, only four points have been scored here. He slides to the... <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. Uh, yeah, he kept blowing a whistle as the officials came up the court. The players kept going with him. Left side. Can't work. To uh, Dennis, hit this. Kyle Dennis has four quick points. It's now 32 22. And he's the right coming back now after uh, a substitution and a second over a foul. Top the circle, field, left side. This Guile. Guile. Back out now. For the Huskies, up to the left side to center line. Center line. And a ball stolen, taken away from five, down court. Lucian hits it, makes an eight point ball game. It's 32-24. Uh, Eastern Heights has six unanswered points there. Robert Ballard playing a uh, catch for him, trying to use up some time. Now maybe he'll have some momentum driving, missing a shot. With Dean Field, Eastern Heights gets the rebound. 
Deep to right. On the attack. Beach and right side. In. Baseline. Goes to Bort. Turn around. Jumble by Booney. In. I'm going to see you find out. Now, Bruce Lee, of course, time out. He's got three starters on the bench, and uh, things have really turned around. Okay, it was 32 18, now it's 32 26. Eight and a half to point by the Mustangs, and two and a half minutes to go here at Scoring Street at Eastern High Pad. We found out who number 41 is. That's Shane Baird. He's a freshman. And coming to the other end of the court, Eastern Heights just put it up. Now, Baird down there. Now, Shane Baird is down there. Well, here you find out who he is. Okay, we're going to have Brands is in there, Big Guy, uh, Bright, Fields, and Sutterheim. The free throw line is Randy Lucian. He'll shoot a one and one. So the ball is in now at the other end of the court. 34 26, eight point lead. That's still a point, rebound, pulled out there, Gene Field. Now, right comes to Kyle Price. Very quick in the front row. Left side jumper is too high off the glass. Put up there by Grant. And going the other way, Kent Bork. For the Mustang. Bork with it. The Mustang record is 7 9, Royal Valley 16 and 1. Top of the circle, Lucia. He has it out there, back on the right side. Comes to Bork, a little portrait on the baseline. Top pass to uh, Kenneth for Doug Lee, knocked away by Sid Guy. Northern Valley has the ball. Northern Valley to Kyle Side. Side to the left of the circle. He can't get the shot. Right side, Giles open, doesn't put it away. Field. And then the uh, free throw circle, back out on the left side, the center line. Ball on out of bounds off of a duck footing with a minute 27 to go. Still an eight-point lead. Half first. The Huskies put the ball on the play left side. Who's he doing a ball guy? Or have, you know, Norman Valley. <laughs> Goes to center line, top the circle and Brad. Back to uh, Sid Guile. Guile, the left of the circle, right side to center line. Again, Northern Valley moving around, trying to get that good shot. Side, baseline jumpers in. Well, that's what they wanted to do. Side took it out on the left side, about six or eight feet out. Put up, came through. 36-26 to get a 10-point lead. And the ball was left by Eastern Heights. Got through the uh, hand of a uh, Mustang, and the ball was out of bounds. Now we have a player in three to uh, Heights. We don't have a number four mark. That's 50, or uh, name four, that's 54. And uh, he goes out, so that takes care of that problem. Trying to put the ball in play for the Husky. He tried. Tried is now playing in there for the back to field. Then jump on the way, Guy on air ball, and Sutterheim. Going the other way, he's right, got that rebound, and the right of the circle has the ball knocked away. Side takes the rebound out of the air. Side going the other way, has it knocked away from it. Traveling call against Side. What happened? Side lost the ball off the mid court line and couldn't catch up with it, and uh, they still out traveling. And we'll go the other way. He's the right with the ball. Lucian across the uh, timeline, right side to him. To Bork, shot up by Rooney. Yet. That's really good along the baseline that time. Turned out for a little bit. 36, 28, 13 seconds to go. Northern Valley, I'm sure, will take the last shot here in the third stanza. Side blocked it. To the right of the circle. The five seconds. Drives away. Missed the shot. Good block that time. By Gannis. And Easter Heights wasn't looking. As he gave up short, he would have had a desperation opportunity. Couldn't get it away. At the end of the third quarter, the score now. 36, Northern Valley. And 28. Right into the uh, bench for the Northern Valley. Of uh, Lucian in front court, five on it, out. Comes to the court, and that time Dennis is going to drive, and he said that uh, the official said Sid Guile moved in front of him. So Sid Guile gets the foul, and that is number one on him. We have, as the free throw line is going to be Dennis, shoot the one and one. Six minutes, 46 seconds, 38 38 point lead for Northern Valley. Shot is on the way and in. That's what Dennis was going to give again. You know, you look at Nova Valley running up against Eastern Heights. Uh, the fourth play goes to Nova Valley, but every time they get the scoreboard, now she's uh, coming back with the Mustang. Kip is off, like, uh, the free throw of this, and uh, the tip came off and was controlled by Gordon. And he missed the turnaround jump around Nova Valley. Has control of the ball again. Out in front by seven with six and a half minutes to go. In the game. Field out in front to side. Left on the left side. Sid Guile. Guile with it. Back out to the field on the right side. Mark Sutterheim. Godfrey comes out to pick it up. The side along the left side. Godfrey doing it again. There's a turnaround jumper by Sutterheim. Knocked out of there. And the Dutch winning. 
knocked it away and picked down there by Dennis and now Lynch is to take it to the front court for Eastern Heights and they can come down lead to five right now. On the right side, base right, Doug Looney's shot is in. Doug Looney with 10 points. 38-33, it's a five-point ball game as well. 14 as well at one time. And the uh, Huskies now working to see what they can do. Godfrey playing with four fouls. 5.45 to go, foul call, out in front by Brett M. Brett M. Brett M. Brett M. And Brett M. Brett M. Brett M. And Brett M. 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 Stephen Brandt shoots on the air, free throw wise. Uh, from the charity stripe, he shoots about the 70% too. Second shot also in that. So Brandt tonight shoots the two from the free throw line. It's a 40-33 ball game again, a seven point lead for the Huskies. Lucian and Tuckbrook leads it for Dort. Along the right side, baseline jump right away by Evans, way short. Comes off, rebound, and pulled out of there by Bricky, who's back in the ball game now. Bricky leads it for size in the front court. Huskies can go back to front by nine now, but you get one down left side, field, baseline. Comes to two. Bricky out of eight, give and go, shot is there, good move that time. Ty Brand got a good pass from Bricky. 42-33, five minutes left in the season, possibly for one of these ball clubs. Short, whether uh, Mooney takes the pass, the front court leads it for Lucian. Back to Dennis, ball knocked away by Sides. Sides down court, one on two. Gets it to Brands, and it's Schola. Good uh, defense up time by Dennis. He got back to knock it away, and he's right. Cut out that uh, possibility of a two-point uh, play for the uh, Huskies. Schola got the court he lost by Godfrey, put up there by Mooney, and rebounded by Easter Heights. Easter Heights may go down just a little bit with four and a half minutes to go, nine-point lead left side. Goes to uh, field, back out in front of the side. There goes this underneath shot up by Frisky, is no good. Knocked out of there, good block by Eastern Heights, and rebounded. Pulled out of there by the Mustang, pushed it in the front court. Just over four minutes to go. Nine points advantage at the present time for Northern Valley. Dennis, we have a three-second lane violation against Eastern Heights. That's a mistake as George Dorn. This point of the ball game, somebody's staying in there too long. And uh, Northern Valley will work against the press now. Inbound comes to side. Lucian, as you mentioned, does a good job of staying on right this side tonight. To the free throw line with it. Field, right side. Brand does all kinds of time. Couldn't hit it. Came off the heel. Rebounded. Ty Kent Warren, Lucian. To the Mustang. To the other end of the court. To our left. Ty Manny's point here to the broadcast basketball from the Logan. Right at court side. Shot on the right side. In by Lucian. 42-35, seven-point lead with 3.30 to go. Huskies in front by seven. Guys very methodically in the front foot, almost uh, bounce pass it out of bounds. The Brand Brands is on the ball. That's why Brands is going to drive to the basket, pulls it, and a possibility of Easter Heights getting back within five marks. Well, so the guys doubling around. They've had five turnovers here in the period. 42-35, seven-point spread still. By the Huskies. Long pass into the corner. Comes to end. He'll put a jump up. Got a play short. That was the guardsman. And pulled out of there. Looney got the rebound. Looney with the ball. Baseline jumpers in. Yeah. Oh, boy. Jack Looney with 12 points. It's now 42 37. Again, that five point lead. The uh, Huskies lost up by nine. Out back to five. Shot by Fields is on his way. No good. Ricky has the rebound taken away from him. Ty Lucian. Lucian. In the front court, walks it across the timeline. It can be a three-point game here with 2.45 to go, 42-37. The Mustangs fail by five and they have the ball. Shot top of the circle, yeah. Here, Orlando Lucian makes it 42-39, a three-point ball game. Side went for the ball. Lucian just kept traveling uh, with the ball. It's looking top of the key. Side, top of the circle. The Huskies now needed only by three, and uh, driving out time the field, he was fouled as he tried to move it in the lane. And the uh, foul will be assessed against a uh, Mustang up number four on the other end of the ballpark. I couldn't tell from this angle. I think it's 